What's up, Clemson Nation? Tiger Nation, guys, 56 to 20 Clemson wins as expected. Everything went about as expected. Uh, not many surprises. Biggest surprise, Taj Boyd threw three interceptions. Uh, one of them wasn't his fault. One of them was just a heave at the end of the half. And then one of them was just a bad throw by Taj. Um, you know, other than that, really nothing went against us. Um, defense could have played better in the first half. Actually, the, uh, the backups played with more intensity than the starters did for most of the game. Uh, at the beginning, they just got burnt a few times by uh, the Duke wide receivers, and that's something we're going to have to improve on. Uh, definitely have another scrimmage with uh, Maryland coming up. That'll be another scrimmage to practice up. NC State looks like another scrimmage, so we just have a bunch of scrimmages until we get to South Carolina right now. Still can't overlook anybody. Uh, tonight, offense played even better than it did last week. You know, offense last year, this is where the offense started to play horrible and, you know, started to fall apart. Started with Taj Boyd. This year, Taj Boyd, very composed. Um, offense composed, and we're not looking like we're going to fall apart this year, obviously. Um, you know, over 700 yards of offense, that is a, I think that's the second or third most all time for Clemson. So, you know, Duke, just, they, what do you expect from Duke? I mean, Duke's Duke. They're still Duke. They might be having a decent season, but they haven't been anybody good. They got blown away by Stanford, Florida State, and Clemson, every decent team they played on their schedule. Um, what can I say? Ellington, you know, Ellington got hurt. I think he pulled a hamstring. You got to really hurt. Hope that uh, he's fine. I really don't want to lose Ellington. It's his senior year. He's not gonna have another chance to come back. I want him to play in the South Carolina game. I want him to play in the NC State game. I, w I mean, if you need to rest him for the Maryland game, rest him for the Maryland game. We're not gonna need him for Maryland. Um, what can I say? Defense stepped up when they need to, as always, as they have all lot this year, except for the Florida State game, and. Uh, we did what was expected of us, you know. We're play. I mean, this is the first year where we are going in to every game, and you know what we're gonna do. If it's a ACC team or any ACC team left on our schedule, we're gonna blow you away. That was our last road game. The rest of the games are in the Valley, sold out stadium every week. I'm fully expecting it. We're eight and one, five and one in the conference. Virginia Tech. We are hoping against all hopes that y'all can somehow pull off a miracle. But hey. If NC State can beat Maryland, uh, Florida State, then why the heck can't y'all? I mean, y'all, I, I still think y'all are better than NC State. NC State is god-awful. Did y'all see what freaking Virginia did to them? Oh, my God. You can't get any worse than NC State right now. Um, that's all I got to say watching this. Get back to watching this LSU-Alabama game. Um, go Tigers. I might make a Maryland hate week. I mean, are they worth it? They don't even have a quarterback. But, uh, Birdman, I'll get to your response uh, in the next video. Sorry I didn't have time in this one. Go Tigers, and let's keep going first forward. We are still very hungry.